Yes, that's right. Fresh on the day of its release, Alien Isolation. Uh, this should be fun, because from everything I've heard with the reviews, this game is supposed to be ridiculously good. <coughs> but also ridiculously difficult. Uh, so yeah, there's the main game, there's Crew Expendable, which is the downloadable content that I got, the special edition. I don't have survivor mode, but I might check that later. I will probably do Crew Expendable as a, uh, maybe as a Patreon only video. I'm just going to turn my mic around, so it's a little more focused on me. <laughs> um, so if I do, that's, you know, that's something I have to do with that. Uh, if I do decide to do it, I'll put up a link. And if I don't decide to make it a normal YouTube release, I will just, I'll link it anyway. I will certainly do it one way or the other. So I change my <laughs> I'm going to put it in a medium. I'm not going to do easy. This is... <laughs> I love that. That's the, the not visible. Barely visible. And I have to turn it all the way up to be barely visible. How dark is this game going to be? See, the funny thing is, despite people saying, like, oh, the AI is too hard, which I think is what IGN was one of the things IGN sort of complained about the game. I've been playing Dark Souls. That game is entirely too hard. <laughs> If this game is anywhere near the difficulty of Dark Souls, I'll find it a refreshing reprieve. <laughs> Just how it is with this. So, I haven't really watched too much of the Alien franchise. I do like the franchise, I just haven't really ever seen much of it. I can't remember if I've seen the first one. Anyway, I've, I've probably seen parts of the first one, parts of the second, and I've seen other ones and bits and pieces and various things. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. <coughs> Third officer reporting. Must be Amanda Ripley. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. They're all dead. We get it. Or is this... Ash, is this Ellen Ripley? And Captain Dallas. Is this Sigourney? Are dead. <coughs> yeah. I think it's Sigourney Weaver. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is... They're already making it creepy. <laughs> this is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. So yeah, it is. Signing off. Okay, I gotta admit, if you're making a... Creepy ass game, and you're gonna set it up. That's that's the way to set it up. That's certainly the way to do it. <sighs> Very careful, things getting pulled and tugged around here. <laughs> Managed to extend my headphones a little further, so I close to this game. Ripley. <laughs> the game of flash dance is a very different. <laughs> I'm Samuels. I work for the company. She kids no shits. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Cannot be any good thing. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was <laughs> taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the I don't know if I'm almost straight away there's a sort of as soon as possible. with the how uh, Dead Space did it and that Sebastian you can tell she's not depot, likely gonna a fighter, so it makes sense for the rest of this game is unlikely gonna do be able to do much. Cause that's a Dead Space sort of set it. In fact it's an engineer. Yeah, I wouldn't trust this guy as far as I could throw him. Look, Pretty Rick, sure he makes grease look slimy. Came across my desk. I read the case history. Did you because the characters are actually sweating? I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. Would not trust this guy as far as I can throw him. I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. 
Oh, maybe you'll get ripped apart by a giant nine foot tall alien. You know, that's a possibility too. I mean, that's a much more likely possibility. It's also possible maybe we will find Ripley, I don't know. I will put the subtitles on, so probably, because... Guys seem to have a mild propensity to whisper. Oh, we're in cryo. Yep. Alright, I will just... I love how even the menu, even the menu on this doesn't seem... Is so unobtrusive. There is just nothing. It's just tiny, tiny noises. I don't even know if you can hear. I'll put, I'll, maybe I'll change the sound. This noise is just tiny, tiny sounds. There was nothing to it. <laughs> oh yeah, the cl classic. Why can't I wear clothes in this in the pod? I'd like to know. <laughs> Okay, movement seems a little sluggish, maybe? Welcome, A. Ripley. Get a dress. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Why can't they wear clothes in those pods? I'm sure there's a reason, they just don't know it. I, I swear to God, this game is already spooking me ever so slightly. The funny thing is, like, even... The most likely thing is that the alien will probably surprise me and spook me, but the actual irony is, I'm not a person who screams at scary stuff. I freeze. I tense at scary stuff, but I do not scream. So that will be interesting. I, I will probably shout, yell, and... There'll be a mixture of swear words flowing from my mouth, so vile and <laughs> virulent it'll be kind of impressive, but still. Hey, you know where I can get some clothes? Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Oh, we ain't you, little Miss Sunshine. To it. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The law for them is training in Chicago, is it? It's important we find out the next time. Great with my superiors. Yeah, what's the next report gonna be? A giant fucking creature killed everybody and then got killed? Because that's what it's gonna be. Demir isn't weak. It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? I don't know if it's, she's not a silent protagonist. He's probably been up That's kind of interesting. I'll catch up with him. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I thought I'd, I'd stick around in my underwear and just wander around. You know, that's just what I thought I'd do. Call it a quick. You know, call it, call it pantsless. This game has a, it's probably like the half of the, uh, just the general anticipation thing, but just currently, just currently the game is already sort of, there's a level of creepiness. The sharp flick of the lights coming on in their own unique little way is creepy. Have you seen my pants? You're a robot. <laughs> you are. You're a robot, aren't you? Tell me. I realize it's a very similar model. Tell me. I've worked engineering. Have you seen my pants? Do you have my pants in here? Is Taylor up there? I need my pants. He's not a seaman who travel up. Been told I need to put pants on, but I can't find any pants. We talked. She seems nervous. She's a skilled executive. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. I'm pressing buttons. <laughs> Can you direct me to my pants? There's a pants direct to useful. Whoa. <laughs> I thought the entire room went wonky, but no, it's just the it's just the glass. 
Uh, pants. Pants, 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 pants. Pants. Where would pants be? <laughs> the first part of this game. The search for my pants. And a shirt and maybe some other stuff. Should I figure it would have been here, so... Oh. Maybe in here. I can hear a... Uh... Ah, oh, so that's the save point. <laughs> okay, the fact you can look around when saving does not make me think that save points are going to be a safe haven. It just makes me think it's just one of a small... <laughs> one small... Oh, that's kind of cool. So that's... Yay! I found my pants! <laughs> oh, suit that literally cost me my heavy pants. Oh, that's cool. Go to the fridge for a briefing. Wait, no, wait. Ah, I'm in a shower and I've got clothes on. This is a bad idea. What am I doing? No, fuck that. Turn off, turn off. <laughs> I'm gonna get murdered at some point in this game. It's gonna be entirely my fault and it's gonna be fucking hilarious when I do. Hey, look, terminal. Uh, okay. Did she. The uh, terminal's interesting. Hey guys, I found pants. I don't, uh, no, it's the wrong way. This, I really hope this game does not require you to know where the fuck you're going, because I will be in big ass trouble then. Wandering down the creepy corridor, talking just to keep my nerves up, because this game is fucking creepy. Doing a good job, and there's no threats here. That's how creepy it's gotten. <laughs> The oboes, they do it. The flutes. He's sweating here. I do have had this. It's not a. It's not a uh, cutscene, and I can just wander around, and I can just stand in front of her. And, Hey! 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 <laughs> Pay attention to me! My ghost. I, I die already. Click my briefing document. Okay. Hey, achievement. Kind of an easy achievement. Kind of don't feel it was worth it. That's a big place of a lot of creepy. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. It's a lot of buttons. Is that damage? Looks like damage. Punch up 74. If it looks like damage and it sounds like damage, is it damage? I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair registration number M. You would wonder why why in any sort of genre like this do they always approach the place that's had destruction to it? Flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're gonna do the whole. Yeah, we should go. We should go have a look at it. It's. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure this won't end up getting us murdered. You're gonna die, and you're gonna die, and I'm not gonna die. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm gonna scream like a girl, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna, yeah, we're. <laughs> Might as well do the smash cut to the, oh yeah, we're gonna be in the dangerous, dangerous situation. <laughs> Without you, Tony Corp, we'll also be responsible for the big daddies in Bioshock, apparently. <laughs> so, I always love how bulky and ridiculous sort of space looks like that. I was up looking. Safe if you do what I tell you. 
However, if a giant monster comes and I can't tell you what to do and just scream like an idiot, then yeah, it's not going to be good. Stop whining. If this does be a part of the game that's kind of important, I imagine so many levels, I'm so much screwed. In space, no one can hear you whine like a little bitch. My God, Ripley, you're doing good. Oh fuck! <laughs> Just keep moving. Taylor Ripley, hold on. <laughs> it's a, it's at the same time kind of terrifying and horrifying, but also it's moving in really slow motion. That's not quite as shocking. That was a good catch. Oh. <laughs> You'd imagine how are they not in contact with the with the ship? Wouldn't the ship have just said, "Oh yeah, that was not a good thing." And how did nobody notice the? Oh, actually, I was gonna say, how did nobody notice the large amount of debris? It's like, you know, the ship just exploded. That's how no one noticed, you idiot. Ow. Now my slow death begins. Fun. Find somewhere quiet and dark for the mice. Don't do it out in the open, singing Yankee Doodle Dandy. That will probably not be a good idea. <laughs> not even any sad sound. There's not even. Any sound on the menu and the loading screens. Crazy device can damage their own and do other things. Yeah, it's not a blueprint sort of situation, so that's not too bad. Okay, come on, game. You creep me out enough in the bloody prologue. And let's see what happens when I'm actually playing the fucking thing. I'm waiting. Oh, install this game is meant to make it quicker. How the hell is it? Load the loading screen as it is. There we go. There's things. There's things going on. <laughs> well, this is the second time I've woken up to a not too good situation today. Okay. Not like the fact we can't. I can barely see, so... Oh, that's quite cool. I'm looking at it. Ooh, fancy. Okay. So... Now, how dead am I? Ooh, I don't know what that is. Table warn you of enemies nearby. That's good to know. Wait, I don't think I saved the game. I think I just told not to save. That is a stupid ass system. Okay, so the left button does the sort of the lean, and the right right clicking the stick, uh, clicking the right stick is what makes me crouch. Uh, this this is so many levels of does not look good. Shit. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, because this says, this spells the phrase, good idea. Is that hiding? Tree. Hello? Anybody? <laughs> yeah, it's decidedly creepy already. I imagine that either the first encounter alien is going to be a fixed encounter or it's going to be straight away you are absolutely buggered. I really don't know. It's one or the other. Cortege. Okay. I'm sure there's, there's some interesting story there, but I'm not too interested in reading it. It's in hell. Oh. Oh. Oh, Ripley. This has not been a good day for us. I'm guessing there was not much I could do about it. Damn. Yeah, because that's where I find a flag. Oh yeah, because advertising our presence with a massive fucking flare is always likely to help. Mm -hmm. So there is no fucking. There you always know. I think so. Yeah, we can talk. I imagine that this is one of the sort of things that will run out eventually, so I just don't know when. So I can throw it if I want to. Right. Or I can hold down extra to drop it to the floor. See, I don't know whether or not it's a good idea to be moving. I sort of as quickly as I am, or it's a bad idea. It's confusing to me. I'm more confused actually how I'm gonna get out of here. Uh, no way around. Unless I was meant to climb up onto that thing before, and I just didn't realize. There's no way to jump or anything, so that can't be it. That's what I missed. This, everything in this entire game is just slow and it makes perfect sense that it's... Something's moving. And I don't... Something's moving and I don't know where it is or where it is. Something is here with me. Something is close by. I know it. Hello? Can you hear me? <laughs> She's not moving slowly, I am. <laughs> this is a part of me that doesn't even want to try moving quickly just for this. No, she's sure. Okay. She's, yeah, she was moving a bit slow. I was barely pushing on the stick, but. I don't even want to move. This is quickly making me think this is not a good place to be. Anything here works. I think, she, I think she's a little talkative. She's a little questioning of it. 
Oh, the old continuously tap sort of button. Come on, restart. There we go. What we need. If it if it's just like it'd been there though when it had saved out of shat myself, I think. <laughs> Would have been one of those moments of like, oh fuck. Yeah, I imagine same way now if track over tracks on engineering on the down, color power don't create a report with stories so there's a book the shit is over. I just did a I just did a very bad thing, didn't I? I just Started up something that's gonna. Well, they they had trapped it, and they they had actually beaten the fucking thing, and I've just caused my own death, haven't I? Do you think does people look like Dark Souls? Like I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing things. Oh god, I need an actual passcode. Great. <laughs> That's going to be useful for me, a person who will not remember these things. So, don't know where to go, not sure where. Sure, there must be. Oh, I did just restore the power. How did that not, how did I not restore the power? Did I miss something? Was there another button I need to press? Oh. That's what that did. I was restoring power. So, I feel like I missed something, but I don't know what. <coughs> I keep trying to run, but I'm guessing this game, for the moment, does not have that button. Well, there is the cold, cold, quiet and hell. Nope, I'd have been in here. Uh, maybe it's actually the terminal I need, then. Maybe that was what I didn't do. Maybe there's a passcode. That's where the passcode is. Go look. I the idea that these guys were writing it as the alien was sort of stomping about. And it's like, oh, I'll take it down to spray some of this graffiti. People must know what I know. Okay, let's have a look. I'm guessing, because I'm guessing this is actually important. <laughs> yeah. So the code is 0340. Zero three four zero. Okay, pretty easy to remember. Don't know where the alien is, but I'm glad it's not in the room with me. Do not want to get eaten by the alien. Can't believe I would have been playing this game for thirty minutes. What the fuck? I gotta admit, when you can build up terror and your antagonist hasn't even been seen yet, then yeah, that's important. Okay, cool. Ah, that's interesting. This is how the crafting menu works. I have enough to build one med kit. That's good to know. That's useful. Which shows the, yeah, that's the, you will not be able to build on a dime sort of situation. You are talking about just having to use it. Oh, straight away. Yeah. The, let me guess. I have to go back out there. <laughs> Can I stay in this room? <laughs> I like this room. Got some nice ambient lighting. The, pretty comfy. No? Okay. I'm guessing that was the reason to go out there. So now what? I got what I think I need to get, but now I'm not sure what I'm doing. This is the part of the situation where you don't really know. Okay, that's the store. That's store. Uh, no, nothing. 
restore power to departure. Oh. Okay. That's not good. Hey. Hey, you guys. You guys. How are you not to be running game? This feels like a situation where you would, if you saw people running, you would follow them. You would just walk slowly. I have a feeling I've got to go that way, and that maybe going this way is not the best idea. But there's a box I can open, and I'm going to open it. Okay. Game's taunting me with thoughts of ammo. There is no ammo. <laughs> I'm wary of the vents. See, why wouldn't she shout out? She saw people running. Uh oh. I don't even want to know. For all I know, there's no alien. There's no giant nine foot tall death machine coming for me. There's certainly the nothing here looking to absolutely murder me. And it certainly isn't in this room with me. Nope, certainly is not in this room with me. Really better not be, I will. <laughs> See, it is, it is a thing I know that people complain about with games where the, all the horror aspect just comes to the, uh, the fact that you're unarmed. But it's that point of, if you've seen this franchise, you know that being armed won't really help you that much. It might hold it back, it might slightly defend, but it's light to us. <laughs> well, that's, that's good to know. But Jesus Christ is not going to help you in this situation. They proved it. I mean, you know, they had fucking giant guns and flamethrowers. Did not work. This place. How long has this place been going to hell? Because that'd be a interesting thing to find out. Yeah, maybe we should have tried to get back in contact with them instead of. Uh-oh. I feel like the obvious thing would have been the fact that maybe we should have concentrated 